Get my book today, A Guide to Coin Hunting from the most subscribed coin channel in the United States, Couch Collectibles, only available on couchcollectibles.com. Today we're gonna to be looking at some 1904 silver Morgan dollar coins and what these coins sold for at auction. So welcome back to Couch Collectibles. Hope you guys are having an awesome day as always. If you guys are new, feel free to check out all the other coin videos here on the channel. We upload every single day. And as always, let's just hop right into it. All right, starting off first with a high graded version of the 1904 silver Morgan dollar coin. This coin is in phenomenal condition, graded by PCGS at a mint state 66 plus. This coin sold at auction for over $10,800, all because of its condition, that high grade there. So we'll look at lower graded examples here in just a bit to kind of show you some price differences of these coins. But let's move on here to a mint error coin. So this coin is the 1904O mint mark. So if we look at the reverse, and go to the bottom of the coin, you'll see that O mint mark. That's where the mint marks will be. For the 1904, you will either have no mint mark at all, an O mint mark, an S mint mark. So those are the three mint marks we're looking for for the 1904 Morgan dollar. So this coin here does have a planchet uh, lamination here on the reverse of the coin, which you can see here on the rim uh, by the word America. So it's not nothing, you know, super major or anything, but you know, it's created at a mint state 63. It's got a little lamination there. The coin sold for around $90 at auction. Now, if we compare that first coin to this coin here, uh, the coin that sold for $10,800 at a very high grade of a mint state 66 plus, this coin here is only graded at an AU50, and the coin only sold for around $55. So big difference in values uh, based on the condition or the grade of these coins. Now keep in mind, like if you have a 1904 that looks like this, you know, an AU condition, uh, and it doesn't have any type of mint errors or anything, it's not really valuable, you know, $50 coin here and there, depending on, you know, silver and the prices and the time in which you sell it, right? Um, so big difference in values there. Now here's another example of a high graded coin, but this is the O mint mark. This coin sold for $31,000, all because of that high grade of a mint state 67 plus by the coin grading company PCGS. Very, very high grade, probably only one of these or two of these exist at this grade or in this condition. That's why it sold for 31,000. And that's why this coin here, graded at even a mint state grade, mint state 62, only sold for around $50. So you're talking uh, mint state 67 plus, 31,000, mint state 62, 50 bucks. Big, big difference there, so keep that in mind. Uh, they're the same date, same mint mark, just different conditions. All right, here's the 1904 Morgan dollar. That is the proof Morgan dollar, so not your regular business strike, graded at a nice proof 68 by NGC. Unbelievable coin here, awesome looking toning to it. This coin ended up selling for over $22,000 at auction. Now here's a 1904 O mint mark Morgan dollar that has a mint error. It has a rotated die. So if you take your fingers, put it over the date and flip it up directly, you're supposed to see the design going vertically just like the obverse was. However, you'll see that it's pointing sideways, right? It's, it's rotated, right? So that's a uh, rotated die. This coin ended up selling for over $215. Now here's a 1904S mint mark Morgan dollar out of the Jack Lee collection graded by PCGS at a mint state 67. This coin sold for $46,000. Uh, you'll see that S mint mark there on the reverse of the coin. All right, so uh, if I hadn't mentioned this in the past, me and Brian Hooper were talking about this the other day. Uh, so Jack Lee, very famous uh, Morgan dollar collector, had the top Morgan dollar collection in the world. I think maybe the top three. Uh, at the time of before his passing and of course you know these go up for sale every now and then and if you get a you know a chance of buying one it's going to have uh, you know more of a premium than uh, a typical Morgan dollar with the same grade right so 46 grand for that coin now if we compare it to a 1904 s graded at a VG 10 this coin only sold for around the $50 range as well 
So big difference in values there based on the condition of the coin. Here's a 1904 no mint mark that had the reverse struck through. So you'll really see it here on the left side of the coin, that mint error taking place there. Now it is graded by Annex at an AU58, and this coin sold for around $90 at auction. Not too bad. Here's another strike through on the reverse graded uh, by NGC, authenticated by NGC. Uh, you'll see that very nice going through the eagle there. 1904 S mint mark this time, sold for $230 dollars at auction so feel free to check out my other coin videos here on the page we are uploading like i say every single day all right guys don't forget to check out those videos to the left of me and until tomorrow i'll see you guys in the comment section below this is couch collectibles and this is where i disappear